A tenant on the Hamilton Mountain is being sued by her landlord in an ongoing dispute between their townhouse complex and its tenants. Sylvie Lendvay has the story. I try to be so calm, I try to be so brave, and I try to stand, but I have children that, you know, that I'm now affecting. Chantelle Pruner and the people who live in the 13 other units in her townhouse complex have been told they have to vacate their apartments by Monday. It all began last fall. In a letter dated September 9th, 2021, the tenants at 1123 Upper Wellington were told the property they live in had been sold and was being demolished. They were told they'd be getting a substantial compensation and that they needed to leave. The tenants looked into who was buying the property. The company had the same owner as the current owner of their townhouse, but it was only on February 8th. The owner gave Pruner an N13 that said the property had to be vacant for repairs. It said that it had to be vacant by February 28th, but he dated this for um, October. Landlords must give tenants 120 days notice to move out, but the tenants say the papers were given to them only 20 days before they had to leave. Pruner was then sued by the owner for $35,000. The papers say Pruner was found to be colluding to interfere with the sale of the property. That's because she spoke to other tenants about the eviction notice, and the lawsuit claims she was making derogatory statements in an attempt to injure the plaintiff's economic interest. It's taking a big toll on me. I, I feel like... I'm being targeted, being sued for something that I didn't know was against the law to stand up for my rights. People that live beside me that speak no English, know nothing, and standing up for them and telling them their, their rights, but they don't have to legally leave until he serves us proper paperwork. Another tenant says everyone living in the townhouse is under stress. We're in limbo. We don't know what's going on. It's stressing everybody out. I'm trying to, you know, not get too upset and not angry and trying to be supportive. The tenants say they have no plans to leave. The Hamilton Community Legal Clinic says with an N13 notice, a tenant has the right of refusal. So the ability to move back in once the renovations are complete at the same rent if they choose. Some of the renters have been here for more than 10 years. They pay between $800 and $1,000. They fear the owner wants them out so that he can raise the rent with new tenants. Acorn Hamilton says they are seeing landlords do that across the city. Now, this is a tactic a lot of landlords use to uh, increase the value of their units, evict tenants, and then raise the price and bring in new tenants for a higher price. We do see these kind of cases, these rent eviction cases, essentially. Um, they're becoming more and more popular because of policy that there is no rent control on new units. So there is a very high incentive for landlords to evict tenants, especially tenants who've been there for quite a long time. Calls to the owner of the townhouse weren't returned today or yesterday. Sylvie Lenve, CHCH News.